Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more EU4 Cradle of Civilization playing as AKQ. Alright, so we killed Kara last time, so did Ajam. And we have our vassal, now Sunni, though they are quite angry at me. And in the meantime, we're waiting for a bunch of rebels and then I'm hoping I will be able to start drilling my army and actually make it more potent. You know, that's actually a really important point. It might actually be worth having a smaller army that you can keep at full maintenance without going bankrupt and just drilling them so they have that extra uh, combat ability, basically. You know, more shock and fire damage and less received. It might be better just to have smaller armies that you can always keep at maximum drill than go to the maximum force limit. I'm not too sure yet. It changes the balance of the game in a pretty big way. And I'm very curious to see uh, how we can manipulate it in the future, but still. Hasa, we are going to get another claim against you. We will get uh, Basra, I think. That'll work fine. So we have a fair number of claims we could use against them. Call in Ajam, but I'm not going to do anything while I have rebels about to fire. Growth of the business of embroidery. Gain two base production. Well, that's lucky. Sure. Castile wants military access. Uh, you're at war with the Ottomans somehow. Sure, I guess. Go ahead. But I don't know what you think you're going to do with it. Castile conquest of Mitija... Blah, blah, blah. I don't know where the heck that is, but Castile apparently thinks they can fight the Otto Man. Well, they did take Aragon and Naples, yes? Yeah, they got two personal unions. They're also allied with France. Ooh. Oh, I was wondering if maybe the Ottomans were fighting France as well. That would have been interesting, because that would have been tempting to say, Hey, Mamluks, let's jump on this. But no. A talented judge, local construction cost in the area, uh, local unrest and state maintenance, all those quite good, or... Yeah, I'm not gonna, I don't need a level 2 advisor that I can afford. Absolutely, this seems good. Grab, what area was that? This one up here. Oh. Well, too bad I built a mosque here already, eh? Would have been nice to save the money. But no, you didn't do that. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's see, what else we got up here? Mm, is this all considered part of the same area too? Yes, this is also part of the same area. You know, if I can get a bit more money together, this is actually a pretty good opportunity to build some mosques. An extra point one for 88 is a deal. Wouldn't mind that. Also, actually, I just realized that was enough to reduce the unrest so we don't have to worry about the Trebizonds. Oh, nifty! All right, dividing the spoils. Local unrest in the Iraqi Arabia. Good God, these are nice! How are these both happening? Taxes and development. No, 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 I'll take the minus four unrest. That's really good. Two events like that in, the, in a row. It's like freaking, what the heck? Now, these two provinces aren't going to rebel. Well, not as easily. No, they're actually down to the negative. Holy crap! What are the odds of this? Okay, so Kara. Now, you still have some problems down here in... Koi. Oh, up here, never mind. Okay, um, yes, that's all well and good. Let's see. So, they're going away. So, no more Iraqi separatists in Baghdad. These guys are still a problem. Orthodox zealots are a problem. Trying to convert them, having trouble. Kara... Still pretty close. Sorani and Trebizond is going away. So as long as I stay here for a little bit longer, Trebizond will go away, and that won't be a problem. What the crap? Ajamfer in Persia! No! Persia was supposed to be mine! Well, that means I can't form Persia. What the crud? Persia cannot exist, right? Yeah. Okay, so if I want to form Persia, I have to kill the current Persia. Well, we definitely can't be friends. I'm just saying. How freaking dare you become an empire like that? All right, so at some point now we're gonna have to kill Persia and then um, eat their essence and become stronger for it. I'm a little annoyed by all that though. All right, so Trebizond's going down quite a bit. Um, honestly, with do I, do I go ahead and start drilling a little bit or do I go put down like zealots? If one of them gets to ninety percent, I think I do. In the meantime, let's just keep Trebizond going down for now. We've lost the conquest against Hassa. Instead, we have Mushasha. Oh, Mushasha ate Hassa. Well, hello. Who are you? You're allied to Niklaf, which is this little guy down here. The, S the Shia have all allied together, which is proving a little annoying. We could kill these guys, yes. It'd be pretty easy. We have a truce. Oh, right. You did get called into a war with Kara, didn't you? Now, that is a problem. Okay, so I can't kill them. I can't kill them. That's my vassal. Can't kill them. Can't kill them. That leaves Shervin. Shervin is my only valid target, unless I want to break off my alliance with Persia. That's annoying as heck! 
If I did attack the Ottomans, the Mamluks would be happy to join. Persia, on the other hand, would not. They have a little bit of debt, and they like the Ottomans. Well, yes, that would be a problem, wouldn't it? I'm actually a little worried that if I rivaled Persia, they would ally the Ottomans. That would, uh, that would be a problem. Dual Qadir's training, power, blah, blah, blah. Don't care about any of that. So we do need to consider a bit what we're going to be doing as far as our next idea group. And I'm really torn on this one. Because there's a lot of fantastic options and very compelling reasons for all of them. One, we could do a Diplo one, namely uh, trade ideas, to try and get a bit more money, since we're not using our Diplo power for much. Then again, we have a terrible diplomatic uh, leader right now, but still. One way to try and get a little bit of money, I'm not sure how much good it would do since we're pretty small and really have very meager influence in the other trade nodes, but it's an option. Diplomatic's pretty good, save me some Diplo tech cost. Influence ideas, pretty good, although I might save those for the late game. But mostly it's the administrative ideas. Humanist, very compelling ideas behind that. Reduce the unrest, be stronger. Cool. Or religious ideas, convert them to Sunni. Which actually I would think I would favor a little bit, just because we are going to go for unifying Islam. And this just kind of seems fitting. Administrative, fantastic. Core creation cost, administrative tech cost reduction, number of states, all very, very good. Economic is probably far better for getting money than trade ideas is. More taxes, less construction costs so I can build more churches or mosques. Inflation reduction, autonomy, maintenance modifier saves me money, production efficiency, development costs. All of these are useful to me. But then there's innovative, and you guys know that I'm a big sucker for the innovative, especially in the early game. Why? Well, because 10% tech cost reduction is fantastic across the game. Another 10% uh, institution embracement cost saves me a lot of money as well, but that's uh, that I could pass on. Then there's the um, monthly war exhaustion from Optimism, which is fantastic. And then you have an advisor cost reduction to save even more money. Some of the policies of Innovative pair off really well, but then there's an added benefit. If we go to our uh, decisions, establish an Ibadat Kana, which if we have innovative ideas, we will lose some stability cost, but we'll get permanent idea cost reduction as well. So 10% reduction in tech for the rest of the game and 5% reduction in idea cost for the rest of the game. That seems really strong to me. Call me crazy. I'm going to go ahead and start drilling the army while we're waiting a little bit. Since those guys are now down, let's just go ahead and start making these guys more powerful. Yeah, it just seems really, really solid to me. Uh, okay, we could get Mysticism, which loses some loyalty too with them. We'll also get Local Unrest in Kurdistan. Kurdistan? That's going to be up here, right? That's an area. It's a state. Gosh, there's so many state-involved stuff now. There you are. Hmm. What's the Unrest look like down here? It's pretty much... Yeah, we can afford that. And we can move toward Mysticism. We'll go ahead and do that. More Mysticism. Allow me to convert these guys a little bit faster. Get that religious... What the heck happened here? Why do we lose... Sultan's reputation tarnished? Ew. Lose the Diplo power. Why do we just lose missionary strength? Non-accepted culture, development, orthodox. Now we can't do this anymore. What just happened? We gained... Mysticism, which should have increased our missionary strength, not reduced it. Something recalculated here, and I'm very confused. Why? Because now we're paying for a missionary, but getting nothing out of it. I mean, I hate to cancel it, because we're so close, but... What happened? Positive stability, base value, yes. Did, like... Your rebellion expi- no, I have no idea what happened here. Seems odd, doesn't it? Huh. Well, um, if I want to get around this, uh, what I could do... ...is say, I'm sorry, admin ideas, let's go for another stability. That gets me a little bit more missionary strength so I can finish it out. It would cost a lot of power, but we could do it. I really need to get my religious unity back together. I need that. It's not really optional. I don't know what happened here. By the way, did I mention that there's now an option to include subjects, which is pretty cool? You can actually see like a lot of the provinces for your vassals and convert them for you. Not something I want to worry about right now, but it's kind of cool that you can do that. Nice feature. Really nice feature. Uh, we don't need the spy network anymore. It serves zero purpose. We'll spy on them instead. 
Huh. I guess we could finish getting claims on these guys, since now we can get claims that are adjacent to each other. How's my drill looking? Getting a tiny bit. Fire damage, shock damage, and damage received. The Platinate is the Emperor. Okay. Orthodox Zealots are now at 90%. Probably should stop drilling, get my morale up, and then we'll go up here. Yeah, but the unrest is really high because I'm trying to use an active missionary. But now it doesn't do anything because something happened. I'm very confused and annoyed by all of this. I hate to spend the power, but I want to convert these things. Alright, now we should be able to make some progress. It's slow as molasses, but it'll get there. Importing iron. Power. Nice. Or mercan- Ooh, mercantilism. Gotta get that mercantilism, though. It's so good. Alright, morale, please. Okay, good. I think... I think we'll wait one more month, and then we'll try moving over there. Kara has rivaled Mushasha. And Hormuz just rivaled me. Good, I can rival somebody. So I don't have to rival Persia. Alright, good. It's fine with me, I don't have to do that. Might keep them as an ally for a little bit longer. Uh, Koi is also a problem. They're both in mountains. Which one's likely to fire? It's more likely to be the Orthodox. Hmm... Not sure what's going to happen with that. Um, we can't quite put them down. Really want to finish this. Hmm. I guess it's kind of, it's just it's just a, like a 50-50 chance at this point. Actually, now now it's technically more likely that no, it's still the Orthodox. I don't know. We're just going to have to take a chance on it, I think. And now Mushash and Separatists are up to a little bit. Uh, we could put them down. You know what? It's better to put something down guaranteed than get the defensive terrain. Let's go and do that. Let's see, we got a little bit down over here, okay. If we split the army, I think we'll be able to put them both down. You go here, you go here. Muhammad Mirza Kara and his family. A merchant family from Musul has come to greatly expand our long trade routes with Shaman... Uh, influential trading family which gives us trade power, or... A cheaper but trade efficiency guy. Now nah, we'll gain the trade power in Persia. Oh, hang on. Car just fired. Crap. All right. Well, we got to knock that down by a month. Here they go in Koi. Gosh dang it. All right. Uh, I guess we can go for the National Manpower Modifier. Do that. There we go. All right. So only eight. It's not terrible. Uh, Shervin's no longer a valid rival yet again. And we weren't able to quite kill them before they siege it down, but oh well. Is what it is. Um... Interesting. Sorani Separatists. Did it reset? Because it was Mushashin a little bit ago. Now it's Sorani. And they reset down to 30%. Seems outright weird, but alright, we'll go with it. Costly trade embargo. Hmm. Is it actually correct when it says that it's costly, or is it just saying that it's an embargo that's not actually against a rival? Like, am I actually losing money? Because there are ran rare cases, some rare cases, where embargoing someone, even though they're not a rival, does result in more money. Sometimes. Alright, can make the Emirs happy. Or, morale of army, stability cost modifier, and they lose loyalty. Don't like that. We are kind of in a position to deal with these right now. It's just peasants. And there's the Orthodox. Okay, can we deal with them first? Before they finish converting these people. There we go. Alright, now go here. And we will give them a month, and our troops need the practice. Kill the peasants! Problem solved. Okay, that worked out pretty well. So, uh, Rebels are now under control, and we're losing a bit of money because I'm reinforcing, but once that's done, I think we're okay, so let's go ahead and start drilling. Drill, baby, drill! France and the Mamluks don't hate each other, but France and Austria hate each other. Okay. Why is Nevers still right here? Look at this. Oh, interesting. It's because uh, France ate Burgundy, but hasn't killed Nevers. Uh, that makes sense. It's probably okay, right? Yeah, probably. All right, so we have a bit of a spy network here. Can we fabricate a claim? Yes. Let's get a claim on your capital, Mirage. I need an excuse to call the Mamluks into something so I can kill these guys, but I'm gonna need a heck of a lot more power first. And I'm definitely not doing anything until I am um, at the next level of tech. I'm not taking any more land until I can get some tech, even though this tech penalty is killing me right now. We do actually have a province, a province with the Renaissance. So it is spreading a little bit faster now, 0.98 per month. Okay, you know what? If we wait just a little bit longer, we might be able to get the uh, the Renaissance. It's going to cost a lot of money, though. 
280 ducats. Yeesh. That's a lot. Uh, we got caught. Darn it. All right, get out of there. Let us max out relations here. A new madrasa. Ooh. Local development costs, local tax modifier, and missionary strength. Very nice. Thank you. It's a shame that this isn't in the right region, but hey, maybe we can convert these Orthodox now. That'd be great. Let's take a look-see. All right, so it's saying this will be done in 1513. That's still a long freaking time. Need some more mysticism. Give me mysticism options, please. Thank you. That would be nice. How are you guys doing? You still hate me? Yeah, they still hate me a bit, but it is ticking down. Gonna be a while before they're loyal to me again, but at least they'll be having to convert some provinces to Sunni. Yeah, there's already a missionary down here working. Persia has decided to rival me. Okay, I guess it's gonna happen regardless now. Bam, we're rivaling Persia. Sucks. Sucks real bad, I wasn't able to use them for anything. Alright. Well, that was a totally wasted relationship then. But we knew we were gonna have to fight them eventually anyway, right? So, oh well. It's alright. Still don't have a lot of issues with, as far as unrest. We could put down the rest of this pretty easily. I'm letting my drill go upward up to 11 now. This is great. I like this. Secrets in our alliance. Don't care. The Mamluks can spy on me if they want. Uh, all right. Aggressive expansion impact sounds nice. Uh, cavalry to infantry ratio is okay. It actually would allow us to have full cavalry armies, I think. Which is interesting. No. Meh. Um, it is one way to spend money to put down unrest, I suppose, if only I had a lot of money. We'll go for Justified Wars. I know that aggressive expansion will become a problem for me at some point. Alright, we had to renew a loan, because I didn't have enough money. Ugh, alright. Pull off the Mamluks. Um... Hmm. I guess we'll improve relations a little bit with the Ottomans. I'm going to go ahead and cancel this mission. It's going to be forever until I'm able to annex these guys. So maybe we can get something new. Just reshuffle it. It'll be fine. How are we doing with money? Making a tiny bit. But in the meantime, I'm still able to do my drills. Hello. You've got separatists over here. Shervin will have to deal with it. Accept the unrest, you fool. I'm not helping you. You suck. All right. We're almost up to 20 army drill now. The worldly ulema. That's never good. Um, corruption... Or lose corruption and lose loyalty. Tolerance of the true faith, so that's unrest for everybody. Uh, don't want to get the yearly corruption. And I'm going to lose corruption. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to debase my currency and gain 100 ducats. And then I'm going to lose the corruption and the loyalty from those guys. And there we go. Alright, more money. Nice. I can spend some stuff and build mosques. Build one here. A little shy on being able to build another one. We'll do that in a second. Uh, still not enough? Nope, we're a tiny bit off. Karaman wants an alliance. Eh, I say no. I don't think it's worth. I don't think you're good enough. Fabricate another claim on this guy. We will get one on... This, I guess. Okay. Can we build a mosque here now? Yes, we can. There we go. Alright, bit of extra money coming in. Sooner I can do... Uh, get. Ooh. You're fighting that, are you? That seemed inadvisable, you fool. All right, well, now they're stuck here for a long time. Nobles demand old rights. Uh, autonomy change and emirs gain loyalty. Lose stability. I will lose the autonomy. Not worth losing a stability at this point. Golden era for the Mamluks. Sure, Circassia, you may have your military access if you want. We're making much progress here? Still pretty slow. The Orthodox, it turns out, are a little bit harder to convert than I thought they would be. I'm used to the Sunni requiring an extra 2%, but still. Conquer uh, this one from Dulkadir. Would love to. Form an alliance with the Ottomans. There's a thought. What if I didn't attack the Ottomans and use the Mamluks? What if I instead use the Ottomans to kill the Mamluks? Instead of the other way around. There's a thought indeed. Uh, it wouldn't be a bad idea, actually. Believe it or not, right now the Mamluks and the Ottomans are not at each other's throats because the Ottomans haven't been able to expand over here. So they don't have any border conflicts. I could justify getting an alliance with the Ottomans, sure. And then I can choose which one I want to uh, kill the other. And when. That could be good. Alright, let's see. You have too many diplomatic relations currently. 
and I'm too weak in your view. Well, that may be true, but... Friendly attitude, opinion... Uh, we might we might be able to get you up there a little bit. A little bit more improved relations, I could try for a royal marriage. I wouldn't mind allying you. What would we get for allying you, by the way? I didn't even check the rewards. Diplo rep. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I could definitely use some diplo rep. Aw, oh, you had to train up some more troops so you could go kill these guys, didn't you? Aw, oh, poor guy. Well, looks like you're going to finally kill those rebels. Well done. Austria declared war on Venice. Aw. Why Venice? I like Venice. Alright, we're maxed out with the Ottomans right now. They are still not willing to get an alliance. But, I could royal marry them. I have the relationship slots. Let's try it. Royal marriage. Oop, they very briefly were okay with it. And then somehow it stopped. The Ottomans have too many diplo relations. Can I just say again? Oh, now they're neutral to me. Oh, that doesn't make sense. Can I just say again, it doesn't make much sense that uh, you can get a relationship with them via marriage, but then it's like, hey, it's the same number of relationships lost, so just change it into alliance. They don't figure that out. They're too stupid to know. It's kind of ridiculous. All right, so if we hate the Persians, we should spy on them a bit. I already have some claims. We could try calling in the Mamluks and kill these guys. They're allied to Hormuz, who are also my rival. Oh my god! This is a much bigger rival than I thought they would be. Hello! Um... Okay. Want the Renaissance. Thought. Want it bad. How are we looking for... Okay, if we just had money. Now, I could take out some loans to do this. I could. Uh, how are we looking as far as... Okay, 51, 79, 13, 5, 62... 21, 24, 42. Okay, so we really could only expect to get this one in a timely-ish fashion. And I say timely, it's still expected to take another four years. Can I wait four more years to get tech? Answer? Probably not. So I could take out two loans and buy the Renaissance. Which is, um, is an option. It is an option. You could do that. It would save me enough power that I could go for the admin tech now. And with that done, I could make a push on Mushasha, which is an easy war. And then with the Mamluks distracted, kill Dulkadir. Yes. Yes. These are all things that I could definitely do. Can I spy on these guys again? Let's see if we can get their last claim. I just want one more. How is my drill currently looking? We are up to 31. All right. That's a tiny bit of extra damage. It's not a lot, but I imagine once you get up to 100, having that 10% bonus is pretty substantial. Castile, cancel military access. It's fine. It was just, I was just doing that as a personal favor to you anyway. Hmm. Hmm. If I declared this war... Well, let's wait until we get some more claims and stuff anyway, but... Yeah. I need 35 here, apparently. Oh, really? I think I'm losing claims on these guys. Yep. Let's do that. All right. Hang on. Let's cancel this. So right now, the Mamluks would definitely assist you, which we don't want. Uh, but we could call the Mamluks in here using favors. We have a truce still. Gosh dang it. Never mind. Ushasha. That's not until 1492. Two more years. Yick. All right. What about Persia? We call the Mamluks in on Persia. But we have a truce with them too until 1491. Well, <laughs> it turns out there's not a lot we can do. Um, why are you not friendly toward me now? I feel like you ought to be. What the heck happened? Man, I regret our marriage. I want a divorce. I'm just going to shout divorce like five times or whatever, and then we're, we're, we're set. We're free. So do I go for this or do I? Mm, I definitely don't think we grab the tech now with a 40% penalty. It's really just a question of do we wait until we can get a little bit more here. And I guess we can afford to wait a little bit. I don't need the tech this second. Nice as it would be. It is not absolutely required. So we'll sit back. My lords, our efforts have paid off while drilling the army. Ooh! My my uh, general gained skill. Nifty! Wait, he's got siege value now? Did he always have siege value or did he just gain fire value? I think he only gained fire value, but that's still really good. Oh, that's so cool! Sure, Ottomans, you have me have your military access. Who are you fighting now? No one. Okay. Man, this freaking missionary, though. 
Not enforcement of ordinances. Um, autonomy. Sure. I don't know why everyone wants military access from me, but they do. So we can get a claim here against you, I think. Uh, what would we want? Ooh. Do we have a claim here already? I do, actually. Okay. Um, yeah, that's a really good province right there. Uh, let's see. Probably on this one. Hard to build. That's what we want. Pull off of you. I would need 35 to get my final claim against Mushasha. I do think that we can want to kill Mushasha. We just have to wait until the stupid truce is over. Truce of Persia just ended. Could kill them. Well, I'm going to embargo them for sure. There you go. Okay. Hmm. Persia, how strong are you? I'm curious. Okay, there I am with 15,000. The Mamluks have 40. Persia, 18. Huh! <laughs> Maybe it's better just to kill Persia right now instead. Uh, we could gain a lot out of that if we did. Um, I mean, I got some pretty good claims to use against them. Even if I just grab these three, that would be pretty valuable. Get some silk, get some spices. Yeah, yeah. And it wouldn't be half bad to start knocking Persia down a little bit. Now, the fact that you're allied to Hormuz is a little upsetting. Uh, but you, Hormuz, have... How many troops? Fifteen. Well, the Mamluks could definitely take both of them on by themselves. Throw in my uh, pretty well-drilled army, and maybe, just maybe, we could win this resoundingly. Mamluks, are your troops stuck down here? Can you get home? Yeah, I imagine so. You're allied to the Mamluks with Medina, so you should be fine. Okay, well, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, we could save up for some tech, and that might be better than going for the army tradition decay. I like the idea of getting this, but I think we'll have to wait. Let's get the military tech. Yeah, I don't know. Um, oh, they're friendly to me again. Still not willing to ally. Oh, we lost our royal marriage. That's weird. So our royal marriage expires because you died or something. Then you're friendly to me. Then we get married and you're like, eh, I don't want you anymore. Gosh dang it. Uh, I could get some loyalty, lose base tax. No, I'd rather lose... I don't want to lose uh, any base tax. That seems like a terrible idea. Just go ahead and lose some loyalty. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. There's um, there's a lot of things we could do right now. As far as min-maxing some of this stuff. 63, 82, 82, 91. If we waited a bit longer on the tech, and I'm willing to just wait, I could save myself a lot of money. And power. Might be worth, but it just means I can't take any tech for another couple years. We'll have to be really late. We're in Navigator. Ship Durability. One of the most useless possible skills to get in the leader. Alright, we got our claim against you. I would like to start beating down Persia. Makes it a lot easier for me to start conquering them in the future. I would definitely like to get the 17 development province if I could too. That would be super duper nice. And also, if we want to form Persia ourselves, we're going to have to kill these guys. Huh. Hey, what does it require to form an ICTA government? I need to remember to do that. Now, we would lose a lot of stability. Five stability? Good God. Three stability is needed. And admin tech level eight. Yeesh. That is really rough. Five stability? It's basically guaranteed to cost you a thousand admin power. Who thought that was a good idea? Paradox? I'm just saying. It's rude. Let's max out relations with all of our neighbors for a little bit. Shouldn't be too hard. You still hate me, uh, but it is going down a little bit. Still converting? Mm, no, it seems you stopped. These guys are Coptic now. For a second, I thought these guys were just spazzing out and flailing wildly, and then I realized he was drilling. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, we're maxed out with the Ottomans. You guys are still making very slight progress. The Ottomans declared war on Venice. Yeah. 
Um, I think we're going to go to war with Persia, but I'm going to wait until the next video in order to do it. It would be nice to get rid of them. And they are Shia. For some reason, I thought they were Sunni. Did they change? I thought Wajam was Sunni. I was almost positive they were, but I guess I'm wrong. Awkward. Very awkward. Huh. Yeah, if the Ottomans aren't going to form an alliance with me. I don't think we're going to get it. I think they have too many Diplo reps, or too many relations. Let's cancel the mission. We'll see if we get a new mission to attack Persia. If we do, great. If we don't, oh well. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If so, then be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. <laughs>